Hey everybody, thanks for joining us here today on the VSO Gun Channel, continuing with our How Powerful Is It series. We have Mr. Tactical Bacon here on a visit, helping us film today. What are we shooting here today, man? We're gonna go ahead and shoot the Smith & Wesson J-Frame. This is a 38 Special. We're gonna be shooting Perfecta ball ammo. So remember guys, this is not the JHP that everybody's been requesting, but you can assume that it's not going to perform as well as the full metal jacket loads because they'll be able to pass all the way through. If you're not familiar with the way uh, how powerful is it, it operates, we have inside of this van a really stiff door. Ugh. Shoot through the panel. Inside of the vehicle, we have a target that will tell us what the bullet's doing as it's passing through. If it does indeed go through the backside, we have another target over there to tell us what it's doing when it comes through, and we have a chronograph to measure it. The second shot goes through the firewall, hopefully hitting a target inside the passenger seat. Let's see what happens. We're gonna get dressed and get shooting. Yeah. And I forgot to put on my hearing protection. <laughs> it's okay. Gun safe, gun rolling in here. What does our velocity look like? Looks like that 3244. That can't be right. That's got to be a malfunction. <laughs> We're going to chalk that up to uh, to the chronograph misreading. So I don't think that that is accurate at all. Maybe we'll get another chronograph reading to see what that is. Did you hand load those? Holy crap. Holy shit. <laughs> that is a lot of mess. And it looks as though, remember guys, these ones marked were the ones from the 380, but all the rest of them that are not marked are from that so we've got a lot of stuff going on in there we have a nice sizable hole in the back there which means that we do will have at least some effect on the back panel let's go ahead and take a look around the back side and we have complete pass through if you can see here it is just above the 380 hole that we shot last time that is a 38 special you can see that it's fairly jacketed out rather large hole for 38 special here and the matching hole in the target tells us that that round is pretty much broken up as it's coming through. It's losing a lot of energy. We can tell that by the shape of the hole. It looks pretty ragged. We would like to see a nice round hole coming through the back of this vehicle if the uh, 38 Special round was still doing its full potential. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to move to the second shot. Pause the video right now. Leave a comment in the comment section down below and tell us whether you think it's gonna go through the firewall or not, and we'll catch up with you guys here in a second. All right, Bacon. Yeah. Good shot, Mike. So, go ahead and zoom in on that, see what it looks like. Make sure that you don't see any jacket in there. I don't think that we have any jacket in there. It looks oh, like awesome. it might have... Oh, I don't know, man. Put a point, um, a finger to the the new hole. The new hole is right here. Right there. Yep. So, okay, let's go inside and see what we got. Uh-oh. Nope. Nothing. This was from the nine millimeter. So 38 Special is not even performing as well as the nine millimeter did, which is surprising. So guys, that is our look at 38 special if you guys have any ideas for ammo hey dude give me that so that is our look at 38 special if you guys have any ideas for ammo and firearm combinations for how powerful is it leave a comment in the comment section down below and we'll do our best to get to it if you guys like this video make sure you hit that like button leave a comment down below pass it around maybe your friends will too and hopefully we'll see you guys on a future episode of how powerful is it with the vso gun channel your gun, sir. Shot two for velocity. But, holy, dude, what the heck? Okay. Let's throw something out. That is not possible. That is going faster than a 5.56 round. Special. 
four inch barrel. Good. Okay, that's more like it. <laughs> 898 out of the GP100. So give them your theory. Go ahead. My theory with the chronograph is that the short barrel isn't burning the powder. And grains are coming out. You got grains and gas and all the nasty stuff flying forward. And it's just screwing with the chronograph. Yeah. It's messing with its, its ability to sample. I can dig that. There you go. Who knew? Hey, Clint says one third to one half more dynamic. There you go. <laughs> 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 all right, so. Um, I think we need to move this. 